Hey, what's up everyone? So you finally probably got your website finished and you are excited to share it with the world. So we're gonna post it up on social media. Check this out. Hello world. So we type in our URL, but oh no, what's going on? Facebook is not pulling an image like everything else. Like if I type in another website here, let's type in listitmarketing.com. We get an image, we get a description, we get the title of the website. So what gives? What's going on? Why is our new site not pulling this? Well, it comes down to uh, your meta tags. You're not telling Facebook what to pull. Facebook and Twitter both have their own uh, specific tags that you need to drop in. You can't just put you know, the meta description and meta title and expect Facebook to do it. They have their own markup. So what I will show you here is the basic tools that you need from Facebook and from Twitter to drop in the code and what exactly to drop in uh, to be able to handle that. So when we go into our code here, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna go to our head. So inside our head, we have all these different meta, you know, data. And what we need to drop in is specific names for Twitter, specific tags for Twitter, and specific tags for uh, Facebook. And they have their own uh, set. So um, Facebook has a nice little setup here called developers so developers.facebook.com and they have all kinds of tools and things that you can use but what we're gonna do for today is just their markup so if you go to their docs their webmasters uh, you can just kind of uh, search it here um, you know link title and image for a shared link just search that in the uh, developers uh, Facebook uh, and that will come up so but they give you the code right here and all you got to do is just copy it paste it in and then you just change it for you know the title that you want you just change that this stuff you're gonna leave the same OG title OG image you're gonna leave that the same and you're gonna type in your image URL so now what I typically do is and it works but I would typically go media slash and then the name of uh, the image that I want displayed. Uh, what I found though when you do that is that when you type in here to uh, Facebook, um, if you do HTTP, it will work. But if you switch it to HTTPS, the image no longer works. So what I did was I actually grabbed the full URL, not just the file structure, but the full URL and that seemed to solve it. Uh, and take care of that. So I drop that in and now the image shows up for HTTPS and HTTP. So once you drop that information in, you got exactly how you like, you're gonna push it up to your hosting. And uh, if you're on cPanel, um, you're probably gonna type it in again and notice that nothing's showing up. So what you need to actually do is go to cPanel. Let's do that right here. So we're gonna actually get into our cPanel and you need to purge your cache. So how you do that is you go to cPanel, you type in cache, Oy, spelling errors today. Okay, so you click cache manager and you're just gonna click purge full cache and purge, you know, you can see the confirmation here. So once you've done that, you can go to the uh, debug tool and in the debug tool, you just type in the URL and you'll be able to see it come up right here. So remember here too, if it's not, uh, if you've done it before and it didn't show up, you have to actually click scrape again for it to actually scrape and give you the accurate information. Otherwise you're just displaying the image you know, that you had already done before. So I created a different version of the site. So the same site, just a different uh, URL here. And I'll just show you what that looks like. So. When I do it on this URL, it doesn't show up because I didn't put in the meta data. So we'll look here and see just to make sure that it actually showed up. Um, and here we are with our Twitter card and our Facebook card. And when we go to the Marketing Minions uh, website, 
the other URL we set up. We'll go in here and you can click on the head and you can see that that information is not in there and that's why it's not showing up. So now when you type in HTTP or HTTPS, you should get an image and description for your page. Exactly how we have on our website. So when you post it, you should see it come up here. And here we go, it showed up in your post. So in the same exact thing for Twitter, I'm gonna walk you through the uh, Twitter version as well. So uh, for Twitter, the URL is uh, pretty long to find, so I'm just gonna show you here. But you go to the developer tools on Twitter and into their docs, and uh, Twitter for website cards is what you're looking for. Um, so here they just give you the code as well. So we're gonna start at the top here. You just scroll down, grab their code, and simply drop it in here and what you'll do is you'll just um, so summary you're gonna leave the same so Twitter card summary that stays the same but the rest of this information you're gonna change so this is just the uh, you know the title of your website the description and same thing for the image that you want displayed you just drop it here save it clear the cache on your cPanel again and you should be good to go 